there were some things that were mismanaged that I had to help clean up and that I was a little bit frustrated about. So when I finally reached out to, to Rain, you know, I was like, hey, what's up, man? Like, you know, I want to get you on my podcast, right? Uh, you know, he stiffed me as I was going to be this much, right? I, he, he, that's yeah, the way he is. I know he is, and I get it. You know what I mean? I'm not tripping about it, but I was like, man, hold up. Like, you don't even know, right, that I'm I'm over here playing ghost manager for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how you have the ghost riders that write the raps for the hardest? I'm playing <laughs> ghost manager for you. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see me. Because we were ourselves, uh, we dictated the conversation. We didn't compromise who we were, and we spoke fluently and educated in the in in this in this business that we've given our lives to. You know what I'm saying? And to be again, someone of Mexican American descent, you know, I don't know anybody from my city. Or really from the general area that's been able to experience that at that level and maybe there is I, well there I, I is. don't know there he is you know well, i'm just gonna go and let you know there he is uh and one of the guys you, you you put his name in your mouth and uh he's in those rooms just like you uh he's on your level uh y'all both neck and neck you say that he could never touch you oh, uh I rain said, water i said mexican Wait a minute. No, 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 no. I said, <laughs> you said i said mexican you didn't see that <laughs> Talking about Hispanic. Well, let's talk well, about let's talk I want to talk yeah. about rainwater. Yeah, like, go. like you made a, some a, a hard statement in that. D, I, I watched that mogul yeah. media when it came out because that's my boy. You uh, know, D, you know that's D. how I met you. Hey, number so, six. So, hey, hey, he made me the number six on the gatekeeper, gatekeeper list. list. But I'm just the only saying, Latino on the but, gatekeeper <laughs> list. <laughs> but I just want to know how you felt so strongly to make those strong remarks about you being. <laughs> The best manager and Rainwater could never, could never be on your level. Y'all both got a lot of similarities. Y'all yeah. promote. Yeah. Y'all go in these different rooms with these different uh, big labels. So, uh, what makes you think that you're untouchable? Or was that cap? <laughs> <Untouchable. You're, laughs> no, you it was, said it. It wasn't cap. I'll okay. tell you, it, it was a little bit of WWE. You know, it, it was a little bit like, look, brother, I'm going to face you in a steel cage match, brother. You know, like, I, got <laughs> I was killing myself laughing. Like, that was a good interview, no, man. No, I appreciate it. No, I mean, I'll tell you the thing about Rain. Um, I did it kind of to ruffle some feathers. To be honest with you, I was a little irritated with something that he did, and I spoke on it. But I, I don't really have an issue with him, right? You know, there was some... Because I have a relationship with Bump, right? Bumpy Johnson. I do. I like Bumpy. Yeah, Bumpy sure. comes over here and sing and go go in. Yeah, hey, man. And Bumpy's special. You don't get it fucked up. Bumpy go hard. <laughs> Uh, and I actually had a label reach out to me about him recently. You know really? what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, Bumpy's aware of it. You know what I'm saying? And and we've spoken. And but you know, I was doing a lot of work for Bump behind the scenes, and he didn't. He never let Rain know that I was the one kind of navigating and doing some of those things. So there were some things that were mismanaged that I had to help clean up, and that I was a little bit frustrated about. So when I finally reached out to to Rain, you know, I was like, Hey, what's up, man? Like, you know, I want to get you on my podcast, right? Uh, you know, he stiffed me as I was going to be this much, right? I, he, he, that's yeah, he is. I know he is, and I get it. You know what I mean? I'm not tripping about it, but I was like, man, hold up. Like, you don't even know, right, that I'm I'm over here playing ghost manager for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how you have the ghost writers that write the raps for the hardest? I'm playing ghost manager for you. <laughs> I heard all that. Yeah, I, heard I mean, so, you know, and I felt like, but even honestly, Truth, truth be told, I'll tell you, here's a Boss Talk 101 exclusive. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Uh, even whenever I was going to interview him, the plan was always to, like, maybe it was for the viewership and just for the conversation. The plan was always to challenge him online, on TV or on screen, and be like, yeah. let's have a manager face off. You take an artist, let's go 12 months head to head and let's see who has better results. I was always going to do that. Did y'all uh, get No, no. I mean, he's reached out a few times. I mean, but, I mean, I don't really, at this point, it's kind of like, whatever. But yeah, I mean, but anyways. <laughs> but the challenge's still there. I mean, if he wants to lose money. <laughs> <laughs> you think, you think it's a Okay, because I'm going to be honest with you. I remember this time period when this Bumpy <laughs> thing was going on. And I remember Bumpy <laughs> just getting over there with him, yeah. too. So he really was locking in with you probably prior to him even dealing kinda with sort of, Yeah, kind of, sort because of. Because that was early on. I know that was early on because of the time and when I seen the interview. Kind of, sort of. I mean, you know what? Like, I don't really want to speak on, on the Bumpy situation because Bumpy is... 
he's kind of like he's his own thing right and and you know he he messaged me like come on spool you kill me out of that <laughs> shit you know what I mean? uh but i i hope he knows it was a little bit of theatrics a little bit yeah. of fun i mean we all do it but but no, I mean, to answer the question or to not steer away from it, I stand by what I said. Like, I don't think he could see me, you know what I mean? But, but, but that's, 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 that's y'all good. I ain't no, gonna lie. I mean, you, you, him, man, hey, y'all, hey, y'all, y'all dope, man. Low nah. easy. It's some dope, look, it's I, some dope managers, I'll man. Say, I'll say this about Rain, and, you know, because I felt like, uh, you know, I didn't want him to think, oh, he's using my name for Cloud. Because he went on this whole thing about how he has more followers and this and that. And then I started, like, because you didn't, I don't know if you were watching the shit I was actually doing on no. my. Uh, uh, uh. Bro, I was pulling his numbers. I was pulling my numbers. I went on to like the social media engagement calculator. I was showing that I had a higher engagement so rate. So you real petty. Yeah, you I was, petty. Yeah, I was like, bro, you know, <laughs> something ain't, this ain't adding up. Somebody got fake followers. You know what I mean? Like, so you say Ray got fake followers? I don't followers? know about all that, but I was saying <laughs> something wasn't adding up. But no, in all honesty, like I will say this, like he's very influential to a community. And I can't take that away from anybody because when even when we look at that gatekeeper list that D did, by the way, man, D didn't put one out this year. D, I think them niggas scared D, man. D running around here scared to put that list out because you know they already told him quit putting that list out. They don't want it out no more. People say don't even put me on it no more. I think Sean Cotton say I'm done with the list. He uh, retired him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him and Jay Prince, they don't want to be on the list no more. You know, uh, so hey, I don't know. What you think? You think he should bring the list back? I think if he doesn't boss talk one on one, he's a drop you want that to list. drop the list. <laughs> I, we can do it on. Hey, wow. not really. <laughs> She's like, Hell no, I don't want to be a part of it. No, nah, I'm, 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 I'm gonna be honest with you, like. It's cool. It's a conversation started. Honestly, like, believe it or not, like, whenever they do do it, it does shed light on some of the guys it that does. deserve uh, to get shed light yeah, on. Yeah, no, you're right, exactly right. Familiar. So, like, I don't see nothing wrong in it. But, um, but nah, man, like, all those guys are influential. You know, from Rain to Bebe to everybody, man. So I do believe, like, you know, even yourself. You know what I'm saying? I'm chilling. Like, man, everybody's influential. <laughs> no, y'all, y'all are influential because y'all have the ability to shed light and amplify a situation and that's a gift yeah you know what i'm saying so as much as like i was calling him out and all that like i really don't give a fuck to be honest with you like if i see him it's not I'm like oh well like come on we gotta fight like that ain't nothing like that <laughs> i was telling everybody i was like man this shit ain't the bloods and the crips it's the music industry like it's right. like if this is basketball and there's a ball on the court and you know i feel i could beat you one-on-one -on -one, i'm gonna tell you i could beat you one-on-one -on -one. if i believe it that's what it is whether or not people agree do you give him props from 03, man, and, and, the, and the job he did, not only when he was alive, but after he passed away? I think he's doing a good job right now because I know that he recently reached out to somebody that I'm really close to see. This is the thing. He doesn't know how tied in I am, right? One of the records that he uh, that he played a part in, uh, you know, post-passing, right? I have it on my phone right now. Wow. See, this is the thing. Like, we all run in the same circles. So you got to respect people because you don't know how much we could work with each other and how we could benefit from one another. But maybe it's just not within his his realm of thinking that there's there's business to be done here, right? Uh, I do think he's doing the best of his abilities to maintain the legacy. During the time that he was alive, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't really keeping up to that degree. Okay. Uh, but the fact that Mo 3... And, and again, like, I don't want to speak uneducated, but the fact that, you know, he has become, you know, um, a legend. A legend. He's huge, man. You know what I'm saying? People, uh, people hold him in that, that, that GOAT conversation now when it comes to artists that have come here. Anybody and everybody that was part of that, from Rain to Prophecy That's to my the boy. producers, oh, Prophecy is my guy because you know visually he created the That's my guy. He created the look, the brand. Uh, there's a lot of people that play part. They all deserve to be like you know celebrated in the sense that like they all played a part. Uh, so I don't know to the degree of you know the direction, the strategy. I don't know that because I. But yeah, but I just think it's a, a beautiful thing. You know how you know how being a manager in a situation mm -hmm. is. And you know so, what? I will never take that away yeah. from him because you know that's one thing that no one can ever say when it when history was written one way and one way only. Because I've heard people try to discredit him and say, "Man, the only reason that he's who he is is because of this artist." Like, nah, bro. Like the, the truth is, the story was written one way, and that's him and him together. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see.